Hey guys, Justin for the 330 Sports Show. Joining me is Greg Kirchner, Brittany Mollis. Um, both of them have been on the show before. We're going to do a Christmas movie draft. So we're going to go um, our top 24 movies based on uh, a draft we're going to do. So randomly drew draft order. Brittany is going to go first. I am going to go second. Greg will go third and it'll go snake style on the way back. These are kind of any Christmas movies you want. We could do, you know, your traditional ones. You can do the cartoon stuff. You can do the non-traditional Hall or Halloween Christmas movies, whatever you guys want. Uh, however, your interpretation of Christmas movies are. It makes sense. Yep. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Got any, it. Quest any questions or are we good to go? We are ready. All right. All right. Brittany, you are going to start. So uh, you got the first pick. All right, with the number one pick, <laughs> I'm taking Charlie Brown Christmas. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. How about that? That's a good one. Any uh, my favorite. Any that is, So that's your favorite. That's just your go-to? I feel like out of all the Christmas movies, like that's the one that I watch and I feel like a kid again every time. Okay. But that's right. why it's my favorite. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. I'm going to go with an easy one, I think, for, with the uh, second pick um i am going in the home alone genre but i'm gonna go home alone two over home alone <laughs> so i'm gonna go home alone two with the uh with the second pick which uh you know i don't know i i think maybe recency bias that's the most recent movie i've watched so uh so that's probably why but uh i like it a little bit better than the original but uh but yeah, so that's my pick. So Greg, we're going to you. You get the next two picks. All right. Yeah. You know what? It's funny. I, it was the same. I, Home Alone Two was number one on my board too, and I don't know. It's I just like it's like a little. It's just like a better setting and a little bit better than I think the original. Um, but it's gone. So I'm going to take the original uh, with my third pick. So I'm going to go with the original Home Alone. Uh, we've certainly talked about that a lot in the last week. <laughs> All right. Um, and then with my second one, I, I guess I'll go kind of old school traditional. I'll go with It's a Wonderful Life because um, that's one that I enjoy watching every, really every Christmas Eve. It's gets me every time. It's absolutely tremendous. And the last few years I've been watching it along with uh, Seth Davis live tweets. Okay. Um, which is Actually, I recommend it if, if you guys are if you guys happen to be watching that on uh, Christmas Eve night, it's pretty cool just to like he gives he gives a really good perspective on the movie and it's um, it's good. So. OK, OK. Like All right. Very good. Um, yeah, Greg, I just told you I watched that for the first time in my life about a week ago. And, uh, you know, I've seen like a couple scenes here and there, but it is it is really, really good movie. Um, you know, I think it holds up. <laughs> I think it came out in like the mid forties, something like that. And yeah, I think it's 46. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So definitely, uh, definitely an interesting movie. It kind of has like a twilight zone feel to it and a couple, couple scenes too. So, all right. Very good. All right. So I have the uh, fifth pick here. Um, this is the number one movie I have on, on my board. You guys probably don't know what the hell it is. Um, because it's it's kind of an obscure movie. It came out in 1985. Um, it is called Santa Claus the Movie. And I think it just has, um, you know, you have that nostalgia with movies. You know what I mean? There, there are certain movies that you remember when you grew when you were growing up as a kid. So I'm, I'm going to just share my screen real quick. So this is like the breakdown, but... Um, let's see uh john lithgow's in it and of course he's like a badass you know he's he's a bad guy in the movie um dudley moore somebody like an actor from a long long time ago but it's just a really good movie and it's kind of like the history of how he became uh santa claus and it's just kind of a a cool movie so uh that is my fifth pick so uh britney oh did we lose greg i think we lost greg where'd he go i don't know well hopefully we'll get him back soon Hopefully his yes. internet connection jumps back on here. But um, I'll tell you what, we'll have you make your next two picks. If he's not back, I'll pause it and we'll, we'll bring him back. So um, why don't you go ahead and make your sixth pick here? 
Okay, so my next pick is going to be Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which I'm actually going to watch after I'm done with this. Okay. I haven't seen that yet this year, so I'm excited for that one. Okay. Um, and then I get the next one, right? It's the yep, snake yep. thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. You get the next one. With that one, I'm going to go with Family Stone. The Family Stone. It's oh. one of the, it's the first Christmas movie I watch every season. And the cast is just phenomenal. It's Diane Keaton, uh, Luke Owen. Um, what's her name? Oh, there's Sarah Jessica Parker, Rachel McAdams. Okay. It's, just, it's such a good cast of people. And it's such a, a cute little movie. And, you know, it's like emotional, but in a good way. Um, okay. So if you haven't seen The Family Stone, definitely watch it. The Family Stone. You know what? I, I don't think I've ever heard of it. So... I'll have to, a lot of people haven't. Interesting. All right. I will have to definitely check that out. Yes. All right, Greg. And I think Greg just got his connection back. I think he is jumping on right now, hopefully. Let's see. By the way, while he's jumping on, uh, you were talking on Twitter, too, about your um, like favorite TV show type Christmases. What was? Yes. Did you, did you figure out one? So I think my favorite overall is probably The Office. Their okay. Christmas episodes are great, but I'd say probably my favorite second overall is Community Christmas episodes. Okay. There's so, okay. I don't know if you guys have ever seen uh, Community, the show. I have not. But, I, I you know uh, one or two maybe, but I have you know I watched The Office religiously. So yeah, Community was kind of it was a show before its time. I think it sort of okay. struggled to stay on air when it was on, and then after they probably a couple years after it was done um they put it on hulu and then it was on netflix and it sort of became like this like cult following okay. show so it was very good definitely watch okay. it all right very good well greg well well welcome back <laughs> you sorry um, about that guys. no it's all right Brittany took uh rudolph the red-nosed reindeer and family stone while you were gone oh. so Nice. Um, that was like a that was a sleeper pick. That's a great movie. That. Yes, thank you. I love that movie. Yeah, it's, a, it's a really good movie. Um, good pick. Well, I'm glad you thank two you. know what it is because I've never heard of that you, movie. You gotta so, watch. It. It's, it's good. It's, it's very it's very real. It's, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna go with another uh, traditional one here, more recent tradition. But uh, I'm gonna go. I mean, how can you not like Will Ferrell? I'm gonna go with Elf. You know, that one's just too easy. I think it's, it's just so good. And towards the end of the movie, like, I don't know, this part gets me literally every time I watch it. But when, you know, when the sleigh won't fly because there's not enough Christmas spirit and uh, I forget her name. um, The Zoe Deschanel. Yeah, Zoe starts singing and, you know, like the sleigh goes off and then that music that hits like literally gives me like goosebumps every time I watch it. So, uh, so I love that movie. It's it's just, you know, it's so quotable. It's so good. So I'm going with Elf at number eight, which means, Greg, you are up for uh, nine and ten here. Okay. Yeah, boy, I'm I'm surprised this one's still here. So I, I got to go. I got to go with Christmas Vacation. Um, classic. I mean, I think it's def- I think it's by far the best of the, the National Lampoon Vacation movies um it's just awesome and it's on all the time and i and and every time i watch it and every time i laugh Mm -hmm. um and then with my second one you know what i'm just gonna go for it love actually i'll take it (laughs) nice Uh, guilty pleasure really cheesy but i enjoy it every year um and you know i think it, it it holds up um although it's a little corny yeah it's uh, cute. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's just a good movie. A little and British I, British humor, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> um, not all the stories are great, but some of them are really good. So, mm-hmm. and like about as big of name cast as you can get too in any movie. All right, very good. All right, so I have uh, pick eleven here. I am gonna go with uh, this is kind of a newer movie as well. Um, I'm gonna go with the night before with uh seth rogan and you know and like it, it's just it's just a funny ass movie um, it's hilarious it, it, it's just really good so it's it's kind of like one of those movies it's not 
it, it takes place at Christmas, but it's not necessarily about Christmas. It's about a group of friends, you know, and it, it's just really good. So I highly recommend watching that if you have not seen that. It's called the night, uh, the night before. So really, really good stuff. Uh, Brittany, you have the next two picks. So my next pick, I think I'm going to go with the holiday, which I I mean, it's kind of cheesy, but you know, they bring in a lot of different aspects to that movie so that it's not just like your standard, like romantic comedy. Like she has this friendship with this Hollywood writer that sort of becomes like a a part of the whole (laughs) storyline. So I don't know. It's just, it's real cute. I probably watched that at least, at least three times during Christmas season. Um, one, I could just watch it over and over again. Um, and then with my next one, I think I'm, I gotta go a Christmas story. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's not like my favorite, but it's probably of all the Christmas movies. I've probably seen that one the most. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. And you're in Cleveland now you live in Cleveland. So, yeah. I mean, you know, the, the Cleveland roots to that movie, it just makes it that much more, you yes. know, you know, that That's much solid. More. It's, have you ever been to the house? Up. Have either of you guys been to the house before? No, I've driven by it, but I've never actually been to it. Okay. Yeah, that's that's definitely something I need to to do one of these years. Get up there and check that out. Same. So, so yeah, maybe throw in a pink bunny suit for or Christmas or Halloween <laughs> one year. I saw in the Browns game the other night, a ton of people in the stands were wearing those. I, so yeah, I saw that. Suit, so. <laughs> uh, all right, good pick, good pick. So I am going to go... This next one, you guys might not say it's a Christmas movie, but I'm going to go with it. Just Friends. If you have not oh, seen that's, Ryan that's a Reynolds. Christmas movie. <laughs> Definitely a Christmas movie. I thought you were going another direction. With yeah, that. I, I was like, don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> it might. that The one you're thinking is probably going to get drafted in the next uh, few rounds here. But uh, Just Friends, I, I think it's just so good. It's really funny. It's really smartly written. And um, at the end of the movie, like when the credits start rolling and Ryan Reynolds is in like his, his, you know, large man suit, whatever. And he starts singing and it's, it's really, really good. So um, definite worth the, uh, definitely worth a watch. Um, Greg, you have, uh, you have the next two picks, 15 and seven. Oh man. Okay. Still a lot of really good ones out there. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to go, um, I'm going to go the Santa Claus. I think I do. And I do really enjoy that one. Um, holds up pretty well. Um, incidentally, and I'm going to go with another one. Um, but I do have a, I do have a, a, a Christmas movie gripe. If you have young kids, um, and a Santa Claus sort of skirts around it, but this one, I love this movie, but, um, it's four Christmases. But okay. there should be a, there should be a disclaimer on every Christmas movie that like acknowledges the truth about Santa Claus like openly, uh, like it should just be like a like a advisory right because I've been caught so many times with that movie on with my kids around and they're like but and they you know they're right at that kind of like they still kind of kind of sort of believe but yeah. like that it that movie is very explicit like there's a moment where it's like very clear and it's like every time I, I forget that it's there um but I do love that movie it's yeah. a little bit of a newer one and I lo- love Vince Vaughn so Vince Vaughn and Reese Weatherspoon don't give a shit <laughs> no and actually I they I they hate they actually hated each other like throughout the entire film. really oh mm-hmm. I did not mm-hmm. know that yeah, so they did not get along. Oh wow! Which they do a pretty good job of of playing that off, but I think in the moments where they're not getting along, that was probably actually more. That was probably kind of really, <laughs> really what was happening. So, uh, okay. but it's good. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Four Christmases at the sixteenth pick. I got seventeen. Um, I'm gonna go with this movie just because I like it a lot, and it kind of takes off the you know the old Charles Dickens. Uh, you know, vibes, but I'm going to go with Scrooged with Bill Murray. Um, I, I just really, really always have liked that movie. It's, it's kind of old now. It's probably like early nineties. Um, but you know, it's just, just a cool message to it. It, it has the, uh, the whole, you know, Christmas Carol vibe to it. So Scrooged with Bill Murray, number 17, uh, Miss Mollis, you have, uh, 18 and 19 coming up. 
Hmm. Okay. I'm going to go with the first one is going to be the animated Grinch version. Okay. Good pick. I like that yes. one. Yes. Love that one. I have not watched that one yet, so I still have to do that. And it's already the 22nd. Like, I can't believe this. <laughs> I can't. I still have so many things I need to watch. Okay. So, the animated Grinch. And then the next one, I'm going to go with Fred Claus. I love that <laughs> we're talking about Vince Vaughn. I, really first good. of all, like, I love him and everything, but the Christmas movies that he's in, I love those especially. And I know a lot of people don't really like Fred Claus because he's kind of a jerk and it's, you know, those parts that are kind of depressing and like sad and ugh, why would they make this Christmas? But it's cute. It, it There's a lot of funny parts, you know, Ludacris is in it and he's this little DJ elf. It's, it's adorable. Uh, the, the only thing that doesn't hold up in that movie, Kevin Spacey, you know, I Kevin Spacey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, it is, it is I always what it forget is. he's in there and then I watch it. I'm like, ew. Well, and, and I know and Justin, great. you're not a you're not a big Paul Giamatti guy That's, at all, but he's but, but he's a he's a good Santa though. He plays he's a good actor. I think every, he's a good actor. I, I could I could see how you might not love him, but every time I look, player. I look at Paul Giamatti, I think of he's just like one of those guys I always picture like eating a sandwich and it's all over his <laughs> face. Like I just feel like he's a disgusting <laughs> human being in person. So I don't good know why. Santa. <laughs> even as santa claus all right with that uh i have the 20th pick we got five more picks here um i am going to go i, I feel like i have to take a cartoon but i don't know if i want to uh rudolph is gone that was that's probably my favorite one of the cartoons the grinch is gone Brittany got both of those so uh check those off so i'm gonna hold off on that um and this is this one's way off the board, and since this is mostly a sports show, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go with Rocky Four. He <laughs> that fight in Russia takes place on Christmas Day, oh and my gosh. he's got the whole country behind him watching their TVs with their families at Christmas. I'm going Rocky Four. So first, maybe most random pick off the board, but Rocky Four it is. So. Take it or leave it. I don't know. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's a good one. All right, Greg. Well, you got the uh, you got your final two picks actually. Okay. So you got twenty one and twenty two. All right. Well, I'm gonna go complete opposite ends of the spectrum with these two picks. So first one, I'm gonna go Bad Santa. It's just yeah, amazing. Um, and about as vulgar of a movie as as can be made, but. Yeah incredible at the same time and by um, the way too a good redemption story kind of in there too yeah i know it has it like that's the thing it does it does have like a like it's soft moments like mm -hmm. um but it's yeah it's it's one of those like you kind of feel dirty watching it but it's one you kind of mix in with all the other you know when you're kind of sick of all the 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 kind of sappy christmas movies it's a good change up yep um and then all right so this one great great story great movie I, I don't know for it looks like it was made in 1920 but i'm gonna go with it anyway the polar express like it's it's a mm. great it's like the the effects just don't hold up that well anymore i don't know what they did with the animation i just it just doesn't i don't know that that's that's sort of a that's sort of a problem i have with it but the story itself is tremendous and i remember having the book um like it was like you know it was a children's book i remember having that book growing up um so it it's i still like it i still watch it but i always kind of shake my head at whatever they did with the animation is a little yeah. bit off the wall yeah a couple of those characters in that movie are pretty creepy yeah I, I just don't <laughs> the mean, little girl I, I, especially yeah. and tom hanks I remember at the time it was like, oh my God, this is like the most incredible animation that there's ever been. And then within 10 years, it was like, this is just, this is really disturbing. Yep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. All right. Um, all right. I have my final pick here, number 23 coming up. And if, if we leave any off, if you guys want to throw out any honorable mentions at the end, we can do that. Um, oh man. All right. I, I think I'm just going to take this because it's the most classic Christmas movie left on my board. And 
the rest are either fun movies or obscure Christmas movies. But I'm going to go with Miracle on 34th Street. Um, more specifically, I think the one that came out maybe in the 90s, the, the little girl was from Mrs. Doubtfire, if yeah. I remember right, that one. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I, I'm sure the original one is, is really good. I have not seen the original, but uh, I'm going to go with, if it was, if it was good enough to remake, it was good, you know, so I'm going to go with Miracle on 34th Street because I think it's got a good message to it, especially if you're a little kid. Um, so that's my pick. Uh, and Brittany, you have the, uh, the final pick here, the 24th pick. The Come final out. pick. So All right. With the final pick of the drafts, <laughs> I am taking a Christmas Carol, the 1951 version Ooh. with Alistair Sim. Okay. And this one is very special because before like I moved away and I started my own tradition of watching Family Stone first m growing up this was always the movie that me and my family would watch on Thanksgiving night like my whole life so okay. yeah it's sentimental um I think it's other than maybe like the Muppet Christmas Carol I think it's the highest rated <laughs> Christmas Carol because there's you know how many versions of this sure so right it's, it's made a lot, lot. but yeah. yeah I think this one's probably the most critically acclaimed version of it so if you haven't okay. seen it definitely give it a watch okay and that's always good too when it ties back to like your family traditions too like yeah. you said you know like moving away and stuff like that so um kind of brings back old memories so yes. um okay so we have made it through 24 picks um i'm not going to rename them i'll list them you know i'll post those later but uh any honorable mentions before we uh, get out of here? That Because I, I still have about seven or eight movies that were not named on my list. Um, so, uh, Greg, why don't we start with you on this one? You got any honorable mentions? Um, I'm, I'm afraid to mention, I, I'm afraid to mention the one because I think Brittany might get upset if it, I, I feel like you might be team, this isn't a Christmas movie. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to say that one. Just say so. it. <laughs> So I, have die say, hard on, I have die hard on the list um yep. and then um but two more christmas definitely christmas movies jingle all the way although just incredibly cheesy still so kind good. of a fun fun watch um and christmas with the cranks is you know again a good story like the premise the story is good like tim allen's pretty good in christmas movies he play he plays that kind of asshole turned you know turned sees, sees the error of his ways character fairly well um so that that's another one that i'll definitely watch kind of watch every christmas season so i have more but i'll let you guys kind of throw a few out there okay Brittany, do you have any we didn't name i don't i was just gonna say jingle all the way but look that's pretty much it that i can think of okay well, I'm, I'm going to just rattle off about 10 of them here then because I got Let's a bunch on my list. So Office Christmas Party, that's now on like every time oh. you turn on the TV. That, it's just fun. It's good. Um, I do have Die Hard on my list. Uh, Greg did mention it. Gremlins. Gre I grew up and like remember watching Gremlins probably before I should have as a little kid. Uh, but that movie takes place around Christmas time and has a Christmas theme to it. Um, I have The Ref. If you have never seen The Ref, it's with um, that guy that always yells a lot, Dennis Leary. Um, it, it's just really good. Like and Kevin Spacey's in this movie too, again. Um, so, you know, maybe doesn't age well, but like him and his wife just hate each other. Um, but like this guy comes in, tries to rob him. It, it, it ends up being an interesting movie, but it, it, it's, a, it's a good comedy. It's like a dramedy, I guess you could call it. Um, Arthur Christmas was my one animated one that I didn't get named. Um, I thought that was pretty good. Uh, I don't know, just the animation. It's it's a it's a decent story too. Uh, in the horror genre, that Krampus. Have you ever seen that? I have <laughs> not. <laughs> it's like I'm not. It's actually it's actually pretty good. So if you're in, if you do like horror movies, it, it's not bad. Um, one I watched last year for the first time, if you guys ever watched Game of Thrones, um, Daenerys, um, you know, she's kind of the main actress in Game of Thrones. 
Um, she's in this movie called Last Christmas, and uh, it's it's very very good. Uh, I don't know if it's like in a Netflix movie or, or or what, but it it was really really good, and it's got a big time twist at the end. So um, recommend that. Um, I had an, a couple more obscure ones, Trading Places with Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd. That's an older, older one. Um, Edward Scissorhands <laughs> takes place around Christmas, I guess, right? Does it? I don't, think at I, the end. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then I, I'm going to let you two answer this one. The last one I have on my list Does Mean Girls qualify at all with that little Christmas song and dance they do? So it's not a Christmas movie, but yeah. I mean, I, I had to throw that in there for that scene. So, <laughs> so it's a, it's a judging it's a, all, like, if, if, if Mean Girls is a Christmas movie, then Goodfellas is also a Christmas movie. That's so, a good point. That's a good um, point. Which in, I, in that case, I'd like to redo this draft, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was good. That was good. Um, all right, guys. Well, I appreciate you guys taking time out, especially we're doing this right before Christmas. And uh, Brittany, I know you got your own podcast. Remind people where they can check out your podcast at. Yeah, it's called That's What B Said. Uh, you can find it on Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, wherever you listen to podcasts, it'll be available. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, Merry Christmas to both of you. And, uh, you know, I appreciate both of you guys taking the time out. And we'll, uh, We'll post this soon. So had a good time and uh, Merry Christmas to you both. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right. Thanks, guys.